It's dried a little bit, and I had the light on, so the picture's not as visible as it was before, but it's still there. I'm going to come around it with water. Daniel Smith, follow blue, and it's it's great. But we want to make sure. Uh oh, I didn't water this part. This is where attention to that detail is kind of important. I didn't put any water, as you can tell now, the difference between where I put the water and where I don't. That's fine. So that's just clumpy. Okay, so I'm going to put a little indigo and see what happens here. That's really soaking in. Dang. I, I don't remember paint being this soaky. But I'm thinking, wow, that's cool. Well. Wow, this is, I don't know what this is. Okay, so I'm going all around here with this blue indigo, actually. Perfect. So whatever I do down here, I have to measure, I have to do the same over here. I'm going into cerulean blue, which is a, an opaque, more of an opaque blue. And I'm going to just come over some of the parts where I don't like. I don't like that because it looks too much like a paintbrush. There you go. And over here. I don't know what that was. So, so basically I'm just doing there, like that. Deep sea green, which is one of my obsessions. And I have a lot of water here. Uh, deep sea green is going to go right in here because I'm thinking even though it's very abstract the picture is the bird not the background but I'm thinking that this bird is going to be flying along where there's water and there's mist like they do they fly in the mist to the trees and the mist as they kind of disappear. Mm -hmm. right. Sap.
Uh, I'll put a little indigo in here, give you some more. Too big. Ah, I'm gonna start over. <laughs>